Hey guys, I'm Dr. Antonio Graceffo coming to you today live from my kitchen in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. And this is Working Out in the Kitchen with Dr. Antonio Graceffo. And as you can see, we're in my kitchen here in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. Why are we here? We're here because I know the coronavirus lockdowns and quarantines have a lot of people stuck in their houses. They can't exercise. They can't work out right now. Those of you who know me, well, a lot of people know me as an economist, but I'm also a wrestler and I compete in MMA. And a lot of the athletes right now are stuck in their houses. They can't go to spring qualifiers. People are worried what's going to happen with the Olympics. They're worried about their next, you know, for the professional athletes, you know, what their next fight is going to be, what their next uh, workout's going to be, getting back in shape. So I want to give you some workout tips you could do at home, in your house, with almost no equipment, and uh, you keep yourself fit. So for the first exercise, what I want you to do, I want you to just squat down like this, all right? This is called a horse stance in martial arts, and I want to put my arms out here, okay? And you want to sit down as far as you can, keep your back straight, keep your head up, keep your arms out. And I'm going to talk to you while we're doing this. Now, I do this for about 90 seconds every day as part of my workout, and I alternate my days. I do yoga about three or four times a week or up to five times a week. I do weights about three to four times a week and then I wrestle about three days a week. So that's my normal routine, but obviously because of coronavirus uh, situation, quarantines, lockdowns, the gyms are closed, the wrestling team is canceled. And so, yeah, we gotta train at home. So we're gonna do the best we can. So as you're doing this, you're gonna get tired, your muscles are gonna get sore. So what I want you to do, and you're gonna start raising up, right? So what you wanna do is sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, keep your back straight. Keep your arms out and just sit down, sit down, sit down. All right, we're going to do this for 90 seconds, but I'm actually going to cut and move to the next exercise so we can learn a bunch of stuff in 15 minutes. Okay, but what you can do if you're working out at home is you can pause the video, hold this for 90 seconds, turn the video back on. Boop. At the next part of the uh, exercise, we're going to start doing some upper body strength today. Um, I'm going to alternate. I'm going to teach you. Some days we'll do uh, we'll do upper body, we'll do lower body. Some days we'll do yoga. Some days we'll do weights. All right. So for today, I, I, I want to warm up my upper body. Right. So what you want to do is you want to bring bring your arms straight up, push your shoulders back, and make your back and your arms make a nice straight line. Stand up straight. Head up. Head up strong. Proud. Tough. All right. You want to bring this up. Let's hold it for about 20 seconds. Now. Uh, a lot of you are probably wondering why you got an exercise instructor on the internet who's uh, who's overweight himself, and the answer is I'm 52 years old, and I'm still competing in uh, wrestling and martial arts MMA, and uh, you know I'm not I'm not as fit and I'm not as well built as a lot of those guys in their 20s, but you know I'm going to do the best I can, and I really hope that the fact that that I'm not perfect is going to inspire you, so you could be better than me. But, uh, but no, I just want you to know that you can do it at any age. You know, you can be in your 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever. You can keep competing. You can keep training. Uh, certainly for young people, there's a lot of young people. I teach at university. I teach economics. And there's a lot of young people that are just unfit. They're not training at all. So I really hope that people start exercising. So this will be about a 15-minute workout that we'll do today. Uh, if you want a better challenge, you can do it twice. And then as we start doing the series, uh, you'll be able to do multiple workouts on the same day. All right, so now after we've, we've done this for uh, anywhere from 20 to 50 seconds, now what I want you to do is bring your shoulders, rotate your shoulders back, 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 scrunch those shoulder blades together, come down. It feels really nice. Okay, we're going to come up, 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 hold it for about 20 seconds, and then I want to look up, look up to the ceiling, Look up to the ceiling, look up to the ceiling, lean back, 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 hold it. Lean back, 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 hold it. Lean back, back, back. Good, now drop your arms, bring those shoulder blades together. Ah, oh, come up. Okay, we're gonna do that about five times normally. Do it just a little bit faster here. Just come back like this, like this, this. Okay. A lot of people think that yoga is about stretch. A lot of people think that yoga is about stretching. There's a lot of different kinds of yoga. Some of them are about more about stretching. Some of them are more about strengthening. I do a lot of strength yoga. 
in my yoga routine. And uh, these, these, these techniques like this, you know, you're strengthening, you're strengthening all the connective tissue in your shoulders. And I've had both shoulders ripped out in uh, wrestling competitions, both of them, one in India, one in China. So, um, and after I started doing yoga, I was actually able to sleep on my side again, which I couldn't do before because of injuries. All right, so now we got our, our upper body. Normally, I mean, my, my, my yoga routine is like 30 to 40 minutes before I even start wrestling. We're just going to do a little bit today. Okay, so we did we did two exercises just now. That's good for today. All right, now what I want you to do, we're going to use some high-tech some high tech exercise equipment. I don't know if everyone can afford this. This is a 1.5 liter bottle of water for you Americans who don't know what a liter is. Uh, it's some number of ounces that I don't know, but it weighs 1.5 kilograms, which is like five pounds. I don't know. So anyway, no, it's not five pounds. Anyway, it weighs some number of kilograms and pounds. All right, so I got three of these. I put three of these bottles in a plastic bag, and I put three of these bottles in the other plastic bag. So I hope everyone can afford plastic bags. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to get back in that horse stance, all right? Let's, let's work our thighs, work our butt, work our abs. Keep your abs in tight. Keep your back straight, okay? I want you to curl. And when you curl, bring your fist up above your shoulders and down. And when you go down, I want you to count. One, two, three. Come up. One, two, three. Down. Don't let gravity take them down. One, two, three. You take them down with your muscles. So you're working when you're going up and when you're going down. See that? My thighs were getting lazy, and I started raising up. Don't raise up. Now, I do about 30 of these exercises, this rep. Uh, I do about 30 reps of this exercise every day, uh, or every day that I do weights. Um, you know, you do what you can. If you can do five, if you can do ten, uh, if you want two bottles, one bottle, no bottles, however you can do it. You do the best you can. Look at that. See, my thighs are pushing me up because they're on fire right now. Okay. Just going to do a couple more of these. You get the idea. So, and again, you can pause the video and do as many reps as you like. You can even do 100. You can't. Um, on some of the videos, I pretend to do 100, but I don't really do 100. Don't tell anybody. All right, now, we're going to take our, our bags again, and we're going to do a shoulder exercise. So you're going to bring it up to your shoulders like this. So you want to take your bags, take them behind your head, and we're just going to push straight up and down. Straight up. Make sure you're going all the way up and down. And when you go down, your hands should be hidden behind your head. You go up. And again, you know, I do about 30 of these. You do however many you feel you can do. Now, what I want to say, though, is this coronavirus gave me an opportunity because I'm not leaving the house. I felt that I didn't need as many calories and that I could tolerate being on a diet and not kill someone. So I took the coronavirus uh, as an opportunity to go on a very strict diet. So I've been eating very little. I do... Uh, I, I researched about that uh, vinegar thing, and I am not convinced that it helps, but it doesn't seem like it's going to hurt you. So what I've been doing is, okay, we're going to come down. All right, the next exercise, hold your bags in front. Let's bring them straight up to your chin. Uh, so what I did was I researched about that vinegar thing, and I add one tablespoon of vinegar to a glass of water, and drink it three times a day right before my meal time. Breakfast, I only eat vegetables, usually a bowl of spinach. Lunch, I'm doing vegetables and meat. And then dinner, I'm doing vegetable, meat, and carb. And as a result, uh, one, I've lost a ton of fat. I have no idea what I weigh because I normally weigh myself at the gym, and the gym is closed right now, so I can't weigh myself. But I take a picture every Monday, and uh, definitely the fat is definitely coming off. And it's going to be nice when this is over and I get to go to the gym, and then I'm going to get to see, you know, what I actually lost. Good. Okay. Let's do that for the video. That's enough. You do more on your own. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to take your bags, you squat down, keep your back straight, and we're going to do tricep lifts. Make sure you're coming all the way up. Down, up, okay, your arms, your uh, fists. Make sure your fists are going all the way into your armpits, okay? 
One or two going all the way up and all the way down. Uh, so you can take this opportunity to lose weight during coronavirus because you don't need the calories. You're not out working. You're not doing things. You know, you could do, uh, do a diet right now, a strict diet, and you can work out with Dr. Antonio in the kitchen. You used to cook in the kitchen. Now you can work out in the kitchen. Okay, that's enough for the video. Ah, good. While you're exercising, uh, in between, you want to make sure you're breathing, right, and uh, drink water. Now, without drinking water, do not drink the water that's in your workout bottles, okay? Because you need those to work out with. Drink other water. And you should really get yourself a Genghis Khan coffee mug because... He's the great Khan, and he's the inspiration, and he's the power. All right. Makes me want to conquer Europe. Well, Asia first, and then Europe. When we're exercising, one of the things I want you to remember, you can stretch at any time. So right now, let's just bring those arms up. Let's bring them back. Let's bring them down. Okay. Let's bring them up. Okay. What I'm doing here, look at this. Okay, I'm arching my back. Ah! You bring it up. Arch, up, arch, good. A lot of people think they should stretch uh, before they work out. You should, but you have to get your body warm first. But you can stretch at any point during the workout. Just stop and stretch a little. You know, may help those muscles recover in between exercises. So here's a stretch for you. You go hands up. We come down. I want you to touch your toes. Yeah, you can touch your toes. If you can, try and keep your knees straight. Okay, touch your toes, touch the floor. If you don't touch your ankles, do that. And you hold this for, let's say, 10, 20 seconds. Now what I want you to do is raise your head up. Look in front of you. Look in front of you. Look in front of you. Now look down. Look in front of you. Look in front of you. Look down. And now, when we stand back up, I'm going to squat, and I'm going to push my body up. And that's a very nice stretch, and it also strengthens the muscles and the, and the connective tissue. It'll keep you healthy. Do that, say, five times a day. Do it before the workout. Do it during the workout. Do it after the workout. But just do it every day. It'll help stretch everything out and keep your injuries down. Right, for this uh, final exercise, what we do is we're going to take two water bottles, and I don't want you to hold them by the easy part. I want you to hold them by the ends because it's really hard to hold them by the ends. These are these will work the same way as clubs. Those of you who do Indian club exercise, get in your, get your nice squat position here. Sit down, good. And what I want you to do is, I want you to lean, you're squatting, lean your back over. I want you to come up and down, up and down. And when we do it, I'm kind of popping my chest out. So like in wrestling, when we pop, that's when we get the power. That's that last little bit when we throw the opponent. And do that pop. Okay, so squat down, squat down, squat down, come up. Squat down, squat down, come up. Good. Okay, hold it by the narrow part of the bottle. That's going to build your grip strength. And grip strength is really one of the most important things for wrestling, uh, for any, any fight sport probably, certainly any grappling sport. Okay, having a big chest is not, not that great. Having biceps isn't that important. Having thighs and having grip and having back, those are the important things. For judo, man, you need so much strength to grab that uniform. Good. You need grip strength. Okay, good. All right, students, the final thing I, I want to share with you today, so I'm going to squat while I'm talking to you. And the final thing that I want to share with you is that, that we can talk even while we're squatting, while we're working on our muscles, while we're exercising, right? We don't have to be passive. In between exercises, we don't have to be passive. And we can change sides while we're talking. All right, students, so what I want you to do, so um, for example, when you're lifting weights, if you rest in between sets, why not do this while you're resting, right? Why not stand on one leg? Just stand on one leg. It's such a good exercise. Right, do some stretches in between. You don't have to be passive. All right, students, it was really nice seeing you today. Good luck with your coronavirus lockdown. I hope you'll keep working out. Watch the video twice if you need to. Learn these exercises. Develop your own routine. I'll see you next time on Working Out in the Kitchen with Dr. Antonio Graceffo.